I'm here with Mark Nelson, and today we're talking about wooden beads. And Mark, you have this really great technique to show us using leaf. Using leaf, um, not just gold leaf, um, but there's other leaves, uh, copper, silver, and bronze. So. so you can choose based on the other findings you're using or just your favorite metallic color. Exactly. Let's take a look at these. So that one right there is a copper leaf, and um, you can kind of see how thin that is. Um, if you blow on it just very slightly, it'll just kind of ripple. Oh, yeah. And just picks right up. So, and next to that is a silver. See and, it peeking um, out there. And then next to that is a bronze. And the bronze is kind of a nice imitation gold color, too. So Kind of an antique brass, if you were using other antique brass findings. Right. Okay, let's take a look at that one. And oh, yeah. You can see it's, the gold is right next to there. And um, you can see they're, they're very similar. So. All right, and then when you're working with this, do you use tweezers, fingers? That's the, kind of the, the sticky point. There's all kinds ah. of different ways to do it. And uh, some people, you can't really use fingers. You can't, because it'll tear. Tweezers will tear it. So I'm going to show you a technique that's Let's pretty good. Let's see your method here. Okay. Oh, we need to prepare these beads. We need to do a few things first. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to make sure that the bead is, is really clean. and um, Soapy water? Soapy water, or even just a damp cloth. You know, you don't really need to, any kind of soap or anything like that. And you want to make it clean. If it's porous, um, you do need to seal it. And you can use a uh, foam brush or just a regular brush. That was the wrong one. That's the next step. So you could even do this on beads that are painted or dyed as long as they're sealed. You can do this on any kind of thing. Um, doesn't have to be just beads. Um, but you do need to seal it. Otherwise, um, the leaf won't stick. So use a lacquer kind of coat it, let it dry, and then you'll be ready for the next step, which is um, sizing or gluing. You're going to put the glue on. And um, I'm going to do that right here on this one, which has already been, has a lacquer finish on there. So is this a special kind of glue that you're using? It is. It's made especially for, uh, for gold leafing. leaf. And uh, one of the key properties there is it dries very, very slowly. Okay? So you have plenty of time to work. You have plenty of time to work. And the idea here is that you do need to let this dry um, to tacky state or slightly beyond a tacky state. And do you just test that with your finger? You just test it with your finger. Now the thing is, it's going to vary in time. It can be anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Probably depends on your humidity and various... Temperature and everything like that. So here's some techniques to see exactly when you're ready to put the gold leaf on. You can take the back of your knuckle and kind of... and it should snap. See, that's still a little too tacky because it jumped off off. Okay, so you s did these ahead of time. Right. Like to save some time for us. About an hour and ago. When you put your knuckle, is that so that you don't leave prints? Uh, no, it's just an easy way to pinpoint your skin to a small area. All right. And if you do leave a fingerprint, it's actually going to heal back up. But you don't want to leave fingerprints because that'll show. Uh, another way to do it is you can actually take the side of your pinky and just slightly drag it. Okay. And so are these ready? This one's ready. This one's still too tacky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this leaf and not handle it and try not to do two beads at once here, but just lay it on like that. Kind of rub it. And you can start to see where it's attaching. And you just use finger pressure. You don't need to burnish it. You don't need to burnish it. Actually, you can burnish it with a cotton ball about five minutes after you lay it down. Oh wow. Okay. Look at that. And you might even be able to put a couple layers on there if you need to and just keep on going. So would you build up the layers just to create more shine? Uh, more depth uh, and because you know, this stuff is so thin you can actually see through it uh, so that any kind of background will actually show through. So what do you do with the extra? We're well, gonna let it dry and then what you can do is kind of work it off, flake it off like this. Just using a brush. Yeah and save it because what you can do is, I'm just going to put it on here, is you can use it like this. Oh, that's so pretty. And use all your scraps. Because nothing's going to waste. And layer this with a bunch of uh, scrap. And uh, it'll actually kind of create a different effect. Yeah, that's a really, really pretty surface design. Now, when this is dry, mm -hmm. then what's next? Um, most of the time, you don't need to coat it with anything. But if it's jewelry, it's going to take a lot of abuse. You do want to fin uh, coat it with a lacquer or something that's going to protect it. How long does it take to dry before you put the lacquer? Could be. It depends on your environment. I usually let it dry overnight just to make sure it's really good and dry. Is it possible to remove some if it's in the wrong place? Nope. If you just, this is nature's design. You just that's go with it. Happy stay. accidents. If you want to remove it, you have to totally scrape the whole thing off.
Okay. So take it down to the wood. That's right. Well, this is such a beautiful technique. I could see. I know you're a carver. If you carve some designs here, you could really highlight your work. Yeah, I, I really wanted to. Uh, you can carve in here all kinds of designs and lay down different metal leaf for different oh, designs. Yeah. You can do all kinds of stuff. Now, what would happen if you're using very flat beads here? But what would happen if you were using round beads? Would Nothing. you use a brush to put it on? Same. Uh, you would use the same foam brush to um, apply the sizing. Uh, you could use a sheet to kind of tack it in different areas. You s there are techniques for cutting it and applying it, but they're very hard. So some practice for that. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Mark. You're welcome. We'll be right back with Lisa Crone.